All right, today, guys, on the Tech 2, I'm going to be showing you something about how to identify the product line. So when you end up going into the Tech 2 and you end up going into diagnostics, and like in this 2013, just right off the top, and pick a car and pick a brand or a make, you'll end up being asked for picking a letter code for a product line. And, and you'll see it pop up like this uh, all the way from 2013 down through 2004, the way I just showed. And then when you get into 20, 2003, it'll start showing it a little bit differently. You won't see it unless you actually go on a chassis. And then you'll get the same question for what is a product line. And it'll persist like that all the way down to the earliest year that the Tech 2 goes up to, which is 91. So I'm going to show you some information on how to determine what the product line is for a given vehicle. So if we switch over to the laptop over here, one of the things I'm going to show you is just kind of like some proof points on this. So this first thing I'm starting off with is the, the General Motors service, system, service, excuse me, service Programming System User's Guide. So this is the manual that uh, came with the Tech 2 when you, when you bought it new at the dealer. And if we cruise all the way to the bottom of this guide, we see our first clue in answering this question, which is when we're looking at vehicle coverage tables, and this is a really old manual, right? So it starts off in the early 90s. But we start seeing some information about the fourth and fifth characters of the VIN, fourth for cars, fifth for trucks, containing product line codes, right? And so in the case of the W's here and the, and the F here, and then you see that was the same for 94, and there were various examples given, and that's the same for 95. So you start to see that this might be where you can determine it. So I went and researched this to confirm that was the same. Here's a GM corporate standard uh, from 2001 of October. And again, talking about the same thing for vehicles. In this case, it's Chevrolet, but it turns out to be you know, the same for all of the North American vehicles. Positions four and five denote the car line or product line, and then the series. Like in this case, it's an F car, which is a Camaro or Firebird, and the P tells you that it's a sport coupe or a convertible. Here you have a J car, like a Cavalier or a Sunfire, and then you can tell from the C and the F and the H and these series codes what type of Cavalier it is. All we're interested in is this car line code, which is the product line. Now, same year, here's a uh, same version of this for trucks. And we can see for trucks, just like that old 90s comment, positions 5 and 6 denote what this is. In this case, they call it the, the line chassis or the chassis line, but it's the product line code. We can see this persisted up the same way through 2005. Here's another example for cars, North American. And here's an example from 2014, you know, an updated document, but the same kind of thing where we're discuss discussing that position four denotes the vehicle line for a passenger car. And position five um, is, is for passenger car means something else, but for a truck denotes the chassis or chassis line. So that's what we're interested in, position four for cars and position five for trucks. Now look at, let's look at some examples of this in practice. I'm going to go to a, a salvage yard site that I use, um, and I'm going to pick a larger city for this just so we can get some examples. I like to go to uh, an LKQ yard when I go looking for parts that I can't get brand new. And let's take a look at the yard inventory in Charlotte. Uh, North Carolina, and let's look at some of these. So if I take a look at, uh, for example, a, uh, a Cavalier, I'll see some examples in the inventory of all these VINs where the fourth position, here's the fourth position on all these models, all these years rather, of Cavaliers is a J. These are J cars, all of them. And if I look at the, the sisters from uh, the Sunfire from Pontiac, I'm going to see the same thing. I'm going to see J cars. These are all J cars. So that's what you would enter for the product line when it asks you. Similarly, for a Cobalt, if I take a look at a Cobalt, and I see that's an A line. The fourth digit's an A. And you can keep going through this, right? And you look at the, the mirror image of this on Pontiac. It's also going to be an A car. Not a lot of inventory for that model. You take a look at these and keep going like an Impala. We can see, in this case, an Impala is going to come up as a W car all the way down. Now, some cars, the model line or the product line changed uh, during the years. An example of that I'll show you is a Malibu. So a Malibu, for early years, a Malibu is going to come up with uh, an N body or an N line. But in later years, in the mid-2000s, it switched to a Z line. 
And you can see this as well. So most of these are Ns, but all the later years are Zs. So depending on your model year, this product line code can change. So you can't just say all Malibus are Ns. They're not. Only early Malibus are Ns. Later ones are going to be Zs. And you can, you can do this with all types of vehicles. Now let's look at trucks now. So we said the fourth position of the VIN is the product line for a car. For a truck, we said it was the, uh, the fifth position. So I'm going to go take a look at, for example, a Silverado, if I can spell right here. And we'll let it take a look at the inventory here. We see there's a couple of Silverados, and this is a great example because one, two, three, four, five, the fifth position is a C for this 2000 truck, and it's a K for this 2004 truck. Now, a lot of you that work on Chevrolets will remember C's and K's, C's being two-wheel drive trucks and K's being four-wheel drive trucks. And that's exactly what that means here. If we look at some other types of trucks, like a Suburban, for example, we'll see the same kind of coding. Fifth digit is going to be K or C, depending on whether it's two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Same thing, for example, on a Tahoe. We're going to see that same kind of delineation. If we look at something like a van, that's considered a truck. So we take a look at an Astro, a Chevrolet Astro van. We're going to see most of these are M bodies. But if we go down, I think uh, we'll see here, they're not that uncommon. Yeah, we'll see an L. Well, what's the difference between an M and an L? Well, in, in, a, in a van, an Astro van or a Safari van from GMC, an M is a two-wheel drive van and an L is an all-wheel drive van. So depending on the type of vehicle you want, you're going to enter an M or an L when you do the Tech 2. And so, for example, here, I think there's some safaris out here, which is the GMC variant of this. And we see, yeah, there's an M and an L. So this is an all-wheel drive. This is a two-wheel drive. If we look at bigger vans, like, say, um, let's look at see if they have any old Chevrolet uh, G vans. I see a G20 there. Right? Well, G vans are called Gs because they're a G line. So the fifth digit's a G. If we take a look, though, at a more modern name for this, like Express, we'll see that an Express is still a G van. Fifth position, G. So that's what you would use when you come over to the Tech 2 and, and you're looking at these types of things. Like, so let's say for this example we had over here, it was a 99. If I was to pick 99 for this particular G van I was looking at, and I come in here and I pick that it's a, a light-duty truck, and I come down, I'm going to do something on the powertrain, I'm going to end up saying that it's a G-Van because that's the code of what I'm looking at. So I hope this video helps you guys have a better understanding for what you select on the Tech 2 for the product line for your vehicle. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to help explain it. Otherwise, please like and, like and subscribe, and I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.